Alright guys, and finally we're heading out to fix one of the last flaws on this car. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of little things here and there, but this one's been kind of bugging me, um, which is the alignment. Let's go ahead and get that done here at Le Schwab. Hope for the best here. God. So basically what they said is before they actually do an alignment, this is why I don't go to Big O Tires. They are like rippers, honestly. So I'm gonna head over to right now um, Le Schwab. They're gonna run a full diagnostic for free. And then uh, basically just to check control arms, bushings, all that good stuff, see the wheel axles, um, even you know the steering rack. Check if everything's good before they perform an alignment, which you have to pay 110 or 115 dollars for. Um, so that's good to know. I wanna at least know everything is good before they do an alignment so it doesn't go bad again in the near future that's what happened last time. So if there's something wrong, I like to know now since I have warranty on all the parts from FCP Euro. Alright guys, so here at Le Schwab, I'm dropping off the car. They're gonna first do a suspension check, then they're gonna let me know what's going on and hopefully we can get this thing fully aligned. Anyway, it's sister saving the day. Let's go back. Later. Finally, a proper intro to one of my videos. Thank goodness we finally have a project to work on. So today, we're finally gonna go pick up my brother's Hoopty Loopty Project Daily. We are finally heading out of the house. I've literally been dying for a little project in a little bit now. So yeah, I'm gonna go pick up Devon so he can help me drive to the car home. Dia's at work right now, so he won't be able to help me with this. But Devon, he's always down. He also has his 335 down there, so go check out what's going on with that. I don't know if you guys saw in the last video, he picked up a 335 for the low. Basically, he's going full M3 body kit, and uh, he's getting all, everything fixed, and he's getting a full paint job on the car. So uh, from what you guys saw in the last video, I'll show you a picture right here. It's gonna be completely transformed, which I'm really hyped for you guys to see. It's not gonna be in today's video, it will be in another video, mainly because they're not done with it yet. But today, at least we're picking up Project Daily, that's what I'm talking about. But anyways, go pick up Devon, and uh, I'll catch you guys there. There's my baby out there. That's a huge puddle I don't want to go on. We'll walk. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're finally here. Let's check out the 325. See if it's, see if it's any good because um, you guys saw the quarter panel was really messed up and uh, the door was really messed up. So I just want to fix up that stuff and just blend it in perfectly. So when I need to wrap it and just sand it, everything will be good to go. It's like a huge puddle I'm walking around right now. I'm not trying to step into that. But uh, we'll look at that and then hopefully we're gonna check out his 335 and see what kind of paint color we're going with. Let's just get into it. So this is how she sits. <laughs> yep, this is why I love this shop. Bro, it looks so good. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, it's pretty ugly. <laughs> don't get me wrong. But guys, I don't know if you remember the gap here was so bad. Oh my god, dude, they are just dream workers. It is insane. But yeah, dude, they blended it perfectly. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's just smooth now, so that's perfect on that. Um, Mayor, we'll figure that out in a little bit. Bam. Anyways, this is not the priority, right? We gotta see your car. Is there any news on it? We gotta see it. But yeah, guys, this car, can't wait to take it home and start working on it. This is this is a big project, ain't gonna lie. It's pretty It's pretty ugly. We're gonna have to sand this entire thing. We're, uh, side skirts, gotta take them off. There's a lot of aesthetic things that we need to replace. Interior things you gotta replace. Super hyped for it. What color, guys, should we honestly go with this? I actually told my brother, I've never wrapped the car pink because I just don't want to, but no, that's disgusting. I can't do that. that that's a satin green, right? That looks nah. good on, on four series. Though. I've seen a couple four series. Really? I don't know. I was actually thinking about pink. Like really? <laughs> black out the wheels, put black black stuff all around it, black roof. I think it'll look dope. 
I think it'll look dope. And then, uh, obviously, and then you know, I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys think we should wrap this car. It's completely up to you guys. Let me know down in the comments. The pink was kind of a joke, low key, maybe. I don't know. Oh, snap, bro. It's your car, bro. <laughs> oh, you can definitely see the wheel. It's going inwards. That's just probably a control arm or something. I don't think anything big. All right, guys, we just got all the trim off for him. He didn't want to break anything, which I completely understand. Uh, but yeah, that's how the car sits. I don't know if you guys noticed, this side had a little, like not, nothing major, just a few dents and scratches. He's fixing everything. This side was completely pushed in and this entire quarter panel was just messed up. Instead of actually replacing it, he just repaired it. So uh, yeah, it looks really good, honestly. And you can clearly see how the wheel is just messed up. You can fix that later, probably. Okay. Kind of like a reddish, is it like a candy apple red? It's long, it's like Long Beach red. Long Beach red? And on top of that is gonna be that one. Yeah, so you, it's like a so three, oh, stage it's paint. three stage paint. Oh, yeah. dang. Oh, I got you picture that. Yeah. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, snap, but I like that purple. I know. Look at that, guys. Oh, that's rough. Oh, that's rough. Oh, boy. I do think this purple will actually be noticeable in the pictures, though. Yeah, it will. Because the other one, I feel like it's kind of gonna look black. Yeah. It's dark. I don't know. Dude, that looks good too. Shoot, that's hard. I'll do that. Dude. He also, guys, I don't know if you guys uh, knew, he also got a lip spoiler, M3 rear bumper, M3 front bumper. Oh, yeah, and he got the side scan. <laughs> this is a fake M3. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you literally got M3 everything, guys. That's crazy. I think he's leaning more toward the red one than the purple. Um, because this is three stage. So this is going to look really unique. Yeah, so I don't know. The red. Yeah, right. All right, guys. So I just spoke with him. We get to pick up my car today. Well, my brother's car. The M3, we're going to bring it back on Friday so you can fix that little problem on the bumper. I'll show you guys right now. I have a little flaw on the rear bumper. Your car my should car be should ready be we'll on see. Friday. We'll Dude, that's insane. He's... His turnaround time is insane. And for the, all you guys who was asking, what's the store name? It's right there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's all I can give you. If you guys can figure out my location, go for it. I'm sure you guys can find it. It's in Sacramento. All right, that's already as, as specific as it gets. A lot of you guys, he's been telling me, have been coming here. So like, I don't, you know, I, we gotta get our builds going on the channel, guys. It's nothing personal. But like, this one took two weeks and it only usually takes them one day. Um, so like, you know, stuff like this on the channel holds me back from preventing you guys, you know, bringing you guys the best content possible. So I hope you guys can understand. Um, if you guys find it, all power to you. Uh, if you guys know him, all power to you, you know. Sharing is caring. But I just hope I hope you guys see where I'm coming from here. I just got we gotta get some of this stuff done so I can continue to bring you guys the best content that I can. Oh my god. Guys, we should get some photos. Damn. She is too nice, bro. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Should I? I don't know. It's hard. It's hard. I don't know. Like, I'm mixed emotions. It would be so sick. So, yeah, guys, I'm bringing it back on Friday to get this fixed. So, basically, the bumper got cracked here as they were painting it and stuff. So, um, he, he fixed up the crack, but then the paint got all messed up. So, it's just the bumper. I'm going to go ahead and bring this bumper back to him. He's going to go ahead and repaint it to make sure it's perfect. That's the only flaw with this entire car, uh, paint-wise, of course, and everything else, honestly, in general. So, yeah, bringing this car back on Friday to drop it off. We finally have another project to work on over there in the meantime. So, uh, all good news. Dang, bro, looking like a professional. There she is. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Guys, Devon actually fell a little bit behind this here, so I'm just waiting for him to get back. And as soon as he gets back, it's actually a very special day. That's right, you guys heard it. It's National Cheeseburger Day. I know, it's kind of weird. Never heard of that. It's like me, I should probably start up a day like National BMW, like hashtag, like National hashtag Save a BMW Day, and just have like a huge car made of everyone that's rebuilt their BMW, some random ass stuff like that. Or like just 
bring your day to BMW. I don't know, I should probably start something like that because cheeseburger, really? Anyways, um, I, I, I am on this diet, but I can't miss a holiday. It happens once a year, so I guess I have to eat a cheeseburger. <laughs> Ain't complaining. I gotta, let, I gotta let somebody know that I'm breaking my diet, and then, uh, just for one day, just for one day. Finally, slow poke. Goodness gracious, I had tea, I ate like three cheeseburgers. You know, I even had time to stop by Costco. <laughs> this dude. How's she drive? Perfect. Right? Oh, no. And you see the miles? Yeah. What is the miles at? 226. <laughs> and she meant. Now, National uh, Cheeseburger Day. Let's go celebrate this uh, beautiful holiday. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in. Coming in. Yeah. Flex. I just wanna win. Yeah. Win. Got one for my bro. All right, guys, that was scrumptious, but now we should head, head, head back and uh, finally start working on Project Daily. Flame, I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping in bass. Slap on everything. Swimming, you shaking away, because I got big racks. So I want to show you guys quickly how the car looks, and uh, we're just going to fix a little something-something today so we can get the car to drive. No issues. So you guys, I don't know if you guys can see by this quarter panel, it has this really weird gloss on camera, really weirder gloss in person. This quarter panel was repaired before. It was actually repaired fairly well, but the paint job is so bad that you can just tell it's been repaired. Like, I mean, thank goodness, I think back here, this is a little bit hard to push in and out. Um, this was pulled out, thank goodness, but at least there's no, you can't really tell the damage was there, which is good. But all this needs to get sanded down. Um, actually, the whole car has to get sanded down. This is an absolute mess of a car. I never had to deal with a car that I needed to completely sand down. The 335 needed a lot of sanding, but not the entire car. This whole quarter panel, he just fixed them both for me. He did not sand it. I'll have to do that myself. This trim piece, it looks like he took it off. I'm hoping it's still good. I'll have to figure that out. I don't even know that was removable, really, but <laughs> you guys can just see from this angle, like, this car, oh dear heavens, is a piece of work. But hey, like you guys see in every other car on this channel, this thing will look beautiful when we're done with it. I mean, just look at her for example, my lord. So anyways, um, this side skirt, I don't know what is going on, I don't know if you guys can see, but like, yeah, that's, that's not supposed to be like that. So it has no tabs holding this thing on. I'm thinking you just put like a screw on each side and the same thing goes to the other side. I don't know why, maybe there's some significant damage behind these side skirts that me and my brother weren't aware of, but you guys can see, actually, this one good? Nah, nah, nah. Nope, that's not supposed to be like that. So yeah, you guys actually can see right there, it's some, he put a squirrel. Like really, come on man. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and uh, start replacing these side skirts, or at least remove them so we can figure out what's going on behind it. All right guys, so this is actually better case than I thought. This whole pillar has not been damaged. I actually thought that it's been damaged to the point to where he couldn't even put this thing on. He literally just broke every single tab, so he couldn't even put this on, so he put some janky screws to hold it on. So I think I have some tabs for that. Let's go ahead and see if I got any. So the thing I just realized, guys, is that these tabs are not the exact same. Actually, they're not even close to being the same. I'm hoping they'll still work. I do think they'll still work. Uh, I think so. But anyways, as you guys can see, the green one's a little bit taller. I don't know if you guys can see that than the yellow one. So I'm gonna have to sand this thing down until it's like flat like this, and then uh, try to see if this will work. All right guys, so we just went ahead, uh, camera cut off, basically got the side skirt back on there. So it's not coming out, thank goodness. So this side looks pretty good. Um, it's just super dirty. It's ready for wrap. I mean, I still have to sand the whole dang car because look at that, man. But yeah, this side, the side skirt's pretty good up until right here. So I don't know what's going on there. Um, it's kind of rough. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pop out this side skirt as well as much as I don't want to, but it needs to be done because this is a pretty big gap. This needs to go in. All right guys, so I've been trying to finick with this for a little bit and uh, I got it pretty much in there where it's not too noticeable, but I guess I still see a minor, you know, gap outwards and offset that I'm not too happy with. 
but that can get fixed when I order some new tabs. The tabs that I got, these gray ones are not the right ones, so that kind of sucks. But I think for the most part, they are on there. They're looking pretty good. They're not like sagging off like it was. You can honestly put your hand in it from the top. That's how bad it was. So this is a big difference, and uh, yeah. Unfortunately, it is a weekday, so I gotta go get uh, some homework done. Before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and go take a shower, then come back out and talk to you guys what's going on with the M3. You know, I decided I'm just gonna talk. I don't really feel like taking a shower and then getting dirty again, that's just life. But speaking of life, this is the reason why I'm making this video and I want, why I want, actually wanna talk about it. It's kind of an important topic. So for those of you guys who are wondering, and those of you guys who are actually following my Instagram, you guys did notice that I put the M3 up for sale. Now, I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh, yo, you're trying to make profit again, this, isn't that. I literally, and you guys saw the, the build cost of this car and that's before the paint job and everything I spent about like 22 something and then after the paint job and everything uh, about 24 with the body work and everything uh, roughly a little bit over that to be honest I listed it for 22 but if a subscriber buys it I'm willing to go down to 20 I'm taking a fat loss this car doesn't have one piece that's missing everything is together just the rear bumper needs to get fixed it's getting fixed this Saturday and it just needs a front alignment so I'm gonna replace the two front tires and do the alignment this is all gonna be still included in the $20,000 price tag that I'm willing to sell to one of you guys. The car is absolutely mint, has no issues whatsoever. The reason I'm selling it, guys, is so I can continue to provide content. That's the whole purpose of this channel. I don't do vlogs like, I don't I don't like doing, I don't like to just get an M3 and then drive around the city and just vlog. That's just not what this channel is about. This channel is about how you can afford a BMW and all this stuff at a young age, how you can fix it and all this good stuff. And I really just even a BMW, just any German luxury car, how you can afford it at a young age and, you know, build them up. That's, that's the whole purpose of this channel. That's why I love watching my own videos that's what i like to see and that's what a lot of you guys like to see so yeah that's what's happening with the channel i'm gonna have to sell it so if one of you guys want it reach out to me on instagram for those of you guys who are new to the channel this car this is an m3 that already has this raw bearings oil pan you know all that good stuff like engine mounts, all that good stuff replaced. This pretty much has all the maintenance done. New radiator, actually upgraded radiator, all new hosings, a lot of new pulleys, new belts, new, uh, pretty much, I'm pretty sure new alternator, I'm pretty sure. New power steering pump. This thing has literally everything new. It shouldn't give you guys problems for like the next 100,000 miles. The reason I bought a lot of these parts and use and the reason why I spent a lot over what I was wanting and how much these things are actually worth is because I intended on keeping it. It just comes to show I actually intended on keeping it. So that's why I'm not factoring it in like yo let me just break even at 24 whatever i'm going to go down to 20 which is a huge loss on my end but that does mean i can continue to bring you guys content because 20 is a lot of money and i can continue to show you guys how you can get like an e60 or an e90 and transform it because that's what this channel is about anyways i don't want to drag this out for longer than it needs to be but yeah that's my goals for the channel that's what i want to do and my end car you guys know is in my bio is in my youtube about section that is my ultimate dream car and i will not stop till i get there personally but yeah that does not mean that's the end of the m that this is this is just the beginning for m cars i actually do plan on getting a new newer M down the road. It's just all with time, guys, all with time. So I hope you guys are willing to stick with this journey with me. But without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. Ow. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words and I put them all together in cert because I wanna have worth.